I was walking over Main Street, just just taking a walk. I was in my Aunt Betty's house, and I said, I'm going to take a walk over the Shawnee Avenue. I was going to go see what the heck was going on with the water, you know, and, and this and that. And he came out of the town hall and said, what are you? And I, so these people would come, and I would say, okay, you, you're a foreman. Pick six guys. Here's an address. Go clean it. And boop, they'd go. And they'd have to, we supplied them with as much cleaning materials and stuff as we could. Some of them brought their own stuff, you know. And uh, they would go and through the uses of shovels and hoses and, and mops and everything else, they would do the best they can to, one, take everything that the people didn't want out to the curbside and pile it up because the Army Corps would come down and load it into dump trucks and then take it off to landfills or whatever. But then they would try to clean the interior and, and make it livable again. And uh, so they would go and work all day. After I assigned everybody, I would then come in and do the payroll. We had four programs, $20 a day. I would put so many people on each program. Then I would take that list, photocopy it, take it over to King's College, drop it off. Then I'd come back and I would check on all the crews, see how they were doing. If they were done on a particular uh, house or whatever, I'd give them another assignment. Then, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'd drive back over to King's College, and they would give me a stack of checks, each for $20. At the end of the day, 5 or 6 o'clock, they all would come back to the town hall, and I would distribute the checks to the foreman, and they would give it to their, their crew. How long were your work days? Were they 8 eight uh, I, Well, I was there before 6 o'clock in the morning, and I was there until True. all hours well, of the no. night. Roughly 12 hours. Shifts. And uh, longer. I mean, we were there. Sometimes wow. we slept in the town hall. Wow. But it worked like clockwork. You know, people got their stuff out to the curb. They got their interiors of their houses cleaned up, their basements and stuff like that. Never would have happened without all those volunteers. And there's so many volunteers who, and I say volunteers, they got $20 a day. But when you saw what they were doing and the conditions they were working in, because we didn't know what was in that mud or water. It, and it stunk. And if I think right now, I can still smell it. It's, it never leaves you. It was disgusting, you know. And, but it worked like a charm. And we got everything done. And it, we just kept doing seven days a week. There were no days off. Seven days a week to get it cleaned up. So a foreman plus six, how many of those Six, seven, it have? depends. Yeah. If it was a bigger house, we'd give them more. How many of those groups uh, would we put assembled? Uh, 25 or more. There was a couple hundred people working a day because, they were because everything was shut down because of the flood. And they worked in town. Yeah. 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 Not or, like today. Or, or they worked someplace they couldn't get to. You couldn't oh, go anywhere yeah. because of the water. Yeah. You know. So uh, it just worked so well. And then one day, uh, Ralph Brown, who was the president of Kingston Council, called Mayor Burns and said, "What are you guys doing down there? You guys are ahead of the game." And I got a kid here. Seems to know what he's doing. He said, can you send them up here? So I went up and uh, helped just to show them how we did it and how to coordinate it and this and that. And they took it from there, really. And while I was there, uh, somebody from the County Redevelopment Authority said, come on over to the office. We want to talk to you. And I come over and I got a job at the County Redevelopment Authority in their relocation department and worked there for five years. How much time did you have to get out? Like, I don't know. Nothing. Uh, we were asleep. And they were, the Army Corps and everybody were coming down Main Street telling everybody, evacuate, immediately, immediately evacuate. Uh, the, uh, the water is coming through the dike. You have to leave your home. So we just grabbed whatever we could.